Hey guys, and welcome back. I want to thank you so much for the support that you've given me on my online page, my Facebook page, YJ Yoga. A little quick story on how I got into skipping. I'm going to show you a tutorial though. I'm going to give you all the moves of skipping and you can join in in the workouts on my page. So like it, subscribe it, share it, all that jazz. So my husband, he got me into skipping. He's like, you should skip. And I'm like, nah, because I've always been into fitness and yoga. And he used to teach boxing, he used to coach it actually, and they do a lot of skipping. So then I decided, okay, I'll skip. So what you want is a lightweight speed rope. This is a Nike speed rope. And you can get it at your local sport check or whatever sort of store, sports store that sells Nike products. Um, you want to have your rope so it is underneath the armpits. That's the length you want. And usually when you get a rope, you can undo the handle and there'll be a bearing in there where you can cut the rope to your happy place, right? Because the ropes will generally be too long. If you're sharing your rope with someone, all you can do if you're shorter or taller, just tie a knot near the handle on either side, okay? So first traditional way of skipping is when you start skipping, you always want to swing your rope. Swing it side to side, hold your hands in either, hold the rope in either hand, just like this, the handles. So untangle it. Traditional, traditional move is the old school jump rope, right? So we got the jump rope. I'm not particularly fond of this move, but that's okay. I like the boxer shuffle. That's my go-to warm up. So I do the boxer shuffle. Takes a little while to get coordinated in skipping. Notice how I'm not swinging my whole arm. Skipping is a flick of the wrist. It tones your arms, it tones your abs, and it leans you out, and it's fun. A little boxer shuffle with a little hip swing, okay, so you can dance a little bit. One footers are great. If you hold your foot up, you can really target that one leg, okay? So you do like 20 seconds on each leg, switch it up during your rounds. Another one, my go-to, twisting. Twisting, you want to keep your rope neutral. Arms are neutral, chest is neutral. All that's moving is your hips and your legs. Okay, and what happens here is when you're twisting, you're starting to get that V shape, that V shape look in your abdomen. When you, when you do twisting work, that fires up that zone. So I stopped, I got a swing. Next one, butt kicks. Butt kicks, you kind of lean slightly forward with your upper body and then tap your heels in towards your buttocks. So here's a side view. Here's a rear view. <laughs> and you can go fast, that'll fire it up, or you can go slow until you get the hang of it. Come back around. Toe taps, targeting lower abs. Toe taps, just like this. So that really isolates those lower abs. Whoops, so I made a boo-boo. So I give her a swing. Another one, one of my faves, high knees. You want to lift those knees and get the speed. That'll give you some results. Okay? Another one. Skaters. So again, all these moves take a little bit of coordination. Inner thighs. Crosses. Good one. You can do jacks. Open, 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 open. Just like that. Another one is you can get fancy with your arms. So you do a little swing, swing, jump. Swing, swing, jump. Okay, another one, cross and skip. So, boom, 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 boom. You don't need a lot of space either. And then you come out, oh, I made a boo-boo. It's good to mess up. Another one, is doubles. That's always the big one. That one gets the heart rate, as you can see my heart rate's up, heart rate through the roof. So I'm gonna show you the doubles. Start with a little jump, and then boom, like you're, like you're on a spring. Just boom, 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 boom. And that, my friends, is jump rope. So hop on my channel, join the workouts. I'll see you soon.